Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Physiology Learning. I am Dr. Ram. Today in this Explain Why series, we are going to understand why neostigmine is used in the treatment of myasthenia gravis. Myasthenia gravis is a neuromuscular disorder wherein antibodies are produced against the acetylcholine receptors. In this patients, the neostigmine is used as in the treatment. Let's see what's the reason. Let's understand what happens normally in the neuromuscular junction first. In the neuromuscular junction, in the presynaptic terminal, that is the neurons, the acetylcholine will be present in the vesicles. The acetylcholine will be present in the vesicles. And in the muscle, there will be several acetylcholine receptors. So, whenever any impulse stimulus comes, the acetylcholine is going to be released from the vesicles. The acetylcholine is going to be released from the vesicles and they are going to bind to the acetylcholine receptors and they are going to cause the muscle contraction. And after some time, there is an enzyme called acetylcholine esterase. Acetylcholine esterase. This acetylcholine esterase is going to degrade the acetylcholine. It is going to destroy the acetylcholine and stop its further action. This is the normal mechanism. In a patient of myasthenia gravis, what happens is, there is an antibodies to this receptors. So, what happens is, in this patient, the receptors or many of the receptors are blocked by antibodies. That is, even acetylcholine availability is there, they are not going to function. In this patient, what happens is, same acetylcholine will be present in the presynaptic membrane. The acetylcholine is released, but again they don't have to, they don't have their receptors to bind in. So, it will be destroyed by the acetylcholine esterase. So, what this neostigmine is specifically doing in this patients is, it is going to destroy this, it is going to attack and destroy this acetylcholine esterase. So, this neostigmine is, is nothing but an acetylcholine esterase inhibitor. So, this acetylcholine esterase is inhibited. So, what will happen to the availability of acetylcholine? So, whatever acetylcholine is available, they will be available for a longer duration, yes, and they can bind to the receptor whichever is available. It is not like all the receptors are destroyed by the antibodies, there is some amount of receptors present. But if acetylcholine esterase is there, it is going to take away the acetylcholine very soon. But if it is available for a longer time, this acetylcholine is available for a longer time, it can bind to the receptors which are functional, which are not yet destroyed by the antibodies. So, this neostigmine is an acetylcholine esterase inhibitor which prolongs the availability of acetylcholine so that some amount of muscle activity can be elicited. Thank you for listening. Hope it's clear. If you have any doubts, drop in the comment section. I'll be happy to make a video on it.